Hi, this is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. Today we're very fortunate to be with Gautam Jen, who is a philosopher with the Vedanta Cultural Foundation. Welcome. Thank you. Well, I understand that you're organizing a lecture series here in our area based on ancient wisdom and its own practical life. Could you tell us a little bit more about the Vedanta and wisdom? Yes. This ancient wisdom is called Vedanta. And Vedanta literally means the end of knowledge, the culmination of knowledge. And why it's the highest knowledge is because it gives you the technique of living. See, the problem with uh, human beings in general is that nobody considers life as something which has to be learned and practiced. So you play the violin, you play golf, you fly, fly an aircraft. You've got to learn how to do it, right? Imagine if you're flying an aircraft, you're in the middle of the sky and you don't know how to do it. You will crash. So similarly, living is a technique, it's a skill, it's an art, which needs to be learned and practiced. So Vedanta is the technique, the, uh, the technique of living. Now, on your website, you talk about intellect and you talk about knowledge. And what, what's the difference? What are we looking to obtain in, in, in Vedanta? See, the, if you analyze the world, you will find uh, two distinct types of people, right? You go to the western part of the world. You come here in the New York area. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of production. And therefore, there's prosperity. But by their own admission, people have lost their peace of mind. You know, tomorrow I'm going to speak at a company which manufactures these antidepressants, you know. And they, they're so much in use now. Why is that? And then you go to the eastern part of the world. You go to rural India, for example. People are quite content. They're peaceful. But there's no dynamism. There's no production. And therefore, there's no prosperity. So... The paradox of life is where you find peace, you don't find prosperity. Where you find prosperity and action, you don't find peace. So the role of this wisdom is to teach you how to combine the two, how you can be dynamic, you can be productive, you can be active, and yet at the same time peaceful. You don't have to look to running away from your work, you know. And I saw an interesting quote on your website. Mm -hmm. If you don't find peace in action, you'll never find it with weekends and vacations. Yes. See, what happens again, if you don't know how to live in the world, you don't know the technique of right action, action becomes a source of stress and strain. And therefore, people look to run away from action to find happiness. This is the biggest tragedy in life, you know. You call somebody on Friday, they say, I say, how are you? He says, I'm hanging in there. What do you mean I'm hanging in there? Why, is, why are you in that condition? So what Vedanta says is, if you cannot find happiness where you are, you will never find it by escaping from doing what you're doing. So you've got to learn the art, the technique of finding peace in action. So th I, my next question was, how does this knowledge fit into our daily living? Is that how th what this talk discusses with the people who come to attend? Exactly, exactly. See, what happens is people believe that happiness or uh, sorrow lies in the world outside. But this is not true. It's not the world that can give you peace or sorrow, but how you relate to it. One person smokes a cigarette and he says it gives him pleasure. Another person detests it. One person wants to uh, divorce his wife. Another person is waiting desperately to marry that same woman. Now, how do you explain that? So it's not the world. It's how you relate to it. So this lecture series that we're organizing is all about the technique, the art of living, how to relate to the world. Now, tell us a little bit about this. This is a free public lecture series at Rutgers. Is that Ye correct? Yes. So... Uh, as a service to the community, we are organizing this lecture series. It's free, it's open to all, and we are inviting two world-renowned philosophers, uh, Swami Parthasarthi um, and his daughter disciple Sunandaji from India, and they will be delivering these lecture series. And this is uh, coming up soon. This is uh, September the 29th uh, through October the 2nd. Yes, so September 29th 
through the first. Sunandaji will be speaking in the evenings. It's a lecture series. And on the second is the highlight event uh, where Swami Parthasarathy himself will be talking. That's in the morning. But they're at this beautiful uh, location. It's called Trays Hall um, on George Street in Rutgers University. So everyone's welcome. That's great. And walk-ins are welcome, but they can also RSVP at your website? Yes. We, we recommend you RSVP at uh, VedantaUSA.org because we do expect more people than the venue uh, can fit, hopefully. So it's better if you RSVP. We've already got about half the venue full, and we're just uh, still about three weeks out. So. And tell us, you also speak locally on a regular basis. Yes. So um, as part of our teaching to the community, I have, again, free lectures every week. Um, uh, the closest to the East Brunswick area, in, in, act in actually in East Brunswick, on Sunday mornings uh, in Somerset, Edison, Short Hills, uh, New York City. So throughout the area, I have these weekly talks where I teach this knowledge week after week for people who are interested. So it's a, le uh, a separate lecture series that they can enroll in? Yes. They can, again, visit our website, VedantaUSA.org, to get more information. But I would recommend they first come to these public lecture series just to get an introduction to what this knowledge is all about, and then they can follow up uh, with the weekly talks. Now, you're a philosopher. How did you become involved with the Vedanta organization? Well, I was born and brought up in India, and then I came here uh, uh, you know, after my 12th grade to do college in the US. I was in Pennsylvania, and my senior year, I had many offers to work in Wall Street and so forth, but at that time in my life, uh, I decided that there's more to life than just working for yourself. Um, and I decided to pursue uh, the understanding of what life is all about. So I enrolled in my teacher's school in India. It's called the Vedanta Academy. And I spent a decade there, 10 years, full time. It's a three-year course, but I stuck around for longer because uh, three years uh, was not enough for me. So, <laughs> And then came back to the U.S. Uh, 10 years ago to teach. So that's what I've been doing. Well, we're very happy you're here in our area, and we thank you for coming by to explain the series, and we look forward to it. Thank you so much. This is Barbara Reese reporting for This Week in East Brunswick. We hope to see you soon.